up, guys? Welcome back to episode six of D3 Dropouts. It's been a pretty long break. We were, the boys were a little busy. We apologize. Yeah. We're going to get back on a little bit of a better schedule, I think. Connor, how are you doing? Good. Yeah, we've taken a long break. You know, I have been on vacation. I've had school things. Yep. Um, Brennan's got stuff going on as well. So we, we had to take a couple week break there, but we're ready to get back at it. There's lots to talk about. Uh, we're going to give you guys a lot of good stuff coming up. So I'm really excited to chat today with you. And honestly, I, we can just dive head right in or dive head in. And then this um, is our brand new segment. This is called Daddy and Donkey of the Day. <laughs> it's, it's a weird name. I know. It's a very weird name. Um, who's your daddy? Who's your daddy and who's your donkey? And so basically daddy is someone who deserves a little bit of praise or recognition for something that they've, do, they've done or been doing. And the donkey is a dumbass or a clown or something like that. Um, Daddy is someone who's doing the shit. The donkey is someone who ain't doing the shit. Ain't doing the shit. So I'll start mine off. My daddy for, um, you're going to like this. I, I bet you, you liked it. Um, Rocket oh, Watts. Oh, I loved it. Oh my God. Dude. Dude went off. Literally had his best game besides the game against Detroit Mercy where he, he went 23 points. That was his best game of the season by far. Dude went off against Michigan. He came into a big time game where they need the Spartans needed a win. Needed and he it. delivered. Yep. Yeah. No, a guy that's the guy that's faced controversy in a year that really hasn't gone as maybe the expectations uh, were so high for him as he's kind of been given the point here, but especially with Foster Lawyer being injured, it's his point guard's position now. Absolutely. It's kind of been up and down. He's kind of a sparky player in that he makes a lot of weird shot mistakes sometimes and is kind of a you don't know what he's gonna do sometimes but it was awesome on the biggest stage he couldn't miss and what something I love about Rocket Watts is that you know a he knows when he knows he's when he's hot he's not afraid to keep shooting he kept shooting he was yeah. not afraid he was like this is my game I got the hot hand I'm gonna take it give me that jumper yeah and we won on Sat Sunday and we are probably in the NCAA tournament thank you to Rocket Watts. So I love that daddy. He's, he was doing it. He was yeah. Doing my it. last touch on Rocket was just like, obviously the name, but he, that dude is quick as hell. Like yeah. some of those around the screen, like you just lose him. He's already at the bucket by the time you're recovering. It's insane. He was so quick. He just got that leadership presence out there. He's going to be big time if he keeps like, if he stays, because once you get good, like most players try to go. So we'll see if we'll see how far he goes. Um, but He's a stud. Yeah. So we just uh, got to get him playing like that every single night. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. My daddy is Matthew Barzell of the New York Islanders. I don't know if you saw the goal he scored on Saturday. I looked it up when you wrote that down. Oh my God. Is he fast? We you talk about rocket Watts being fast. Matthew Barzell has absolute rockets on his skates. Yeah. Is that fast blows by the Buffalo defender? Sorry. It's Buffalo. We'll get into my donkey. Cause Yikes. Yeah. But he sc- goes right by the defender, going full speed, goes back through the legs on the goaltender. I've never seen anything like it. Not to mention he's on my fantasy hockey team. He's almost hey. a game guy on the Islanders. So I just love – I'm just going to give him hype no matter what. But when you score a goal like that, arguably going to be the best goal of the year, I think you deserve recognition, Matthew Barzell. Absolutely. You're my daddy. And so, actually, I'll let you just uh, move uh, right into your on. donkey. Yeah, okay. I'll go into my – I don't like how I said you're my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, my donkey, someone who ain't doing the shit, is the Buffalo Sabres. They're on a seven-game losing streak. <laughs> they're laughable at the fact that they're the Detroit Lions of the NHL. Yep. And they do, they, any move they make is the wrong move. You think, oh, they're bringing in Taylor Hall this year. He's a former MVP. They might be competitive. Nope. They suck. Jack Eichel, four or five years ago, number two overall pick. You think this guy's going to change it? He's been a point-per-game guy. They still suck. Yep. Jack Skinner, you bring him in. He scored 40 goals per year or 40 goals the year before for Carolina. You bring him in, pay him nine bananas. What has he done for you? I mean, granted, he's been this isn't his first year on the team. But yeah, but this year, 21 games. He had one assist and zero goals up until Sunday yesterday when he find, he scored a pretty sick goal on Sunday. I'm not going to lie. But they lost again. 
and he's making nine bananas and he only has two points. They've healthy scratched a guy making nine bananas, Brendan. Nine. I, that's actually a good. Nine bananas is more than Sidney Crosby and Nathan McKinnon make, and they're the two best players in the league. Yes. I. So uh, that actually, I have a question about that. Do you think that they're paying him nine bananas because he had that? You said he had 40 goals or something like that the year before. Yeah, he, he got 40 goals the year before. So do you think it, part of that is based on the name almost, like what he has done? And maybe do you think they should do that? Because now you've seen, like, it doesn't always play out to their. Yeah, um, no, he had been a 50 to 70 point guy for years before that contract. So I don't think he necessarily was worth nine bananas, but he was worth, he was due for a nice contract. He was um, in the bananas for sure. So multiple bananas, multiple bananas, bananas that I can eat in one sitting. Probably. Okay. Um, but, and this is just a tough start. I don't, he hasn't been quite as bad in the years prior in this kind. Con- it's not the first year of the contract, but ooh, one assist in 21 games is like, I think I could do that in the NHL. Yeah. I mean, I might be able to do that in the NHL. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. I, okay. Yeah. Um, so that's a good donkey actually. Um, and I'm going to, I want to just say this before I even read my donkey, not political at all. This is more like just a morals thing. Go ahead. Can I stop you? Yeah. I just got a notification that Dak Prescott just re-signed with the Cowboys. Okay. Yep. I got the same 160 million. Yeah. 126 million. Guaranteed $75 million. In the first year. That is, <laughs> we'll get into that when we talk about the NFL. We can talk about the NFL next. All right, you're my daddy, Dak. You just made a lot of money. Congrats. <laughs> I want to be your daddy. Or That's, I want yeah. to be my daddy. I, to yeah, play. I want Dak to be my daddy. That's insane. <laughs> um, so once again, not political at all. Just thought I saw this headline. It was in the politics section, but I don't want to get too far into politics. Andrew Cuomo, I'm sure you know who that is. Yeah. You're a New York guy yourself. <laughs> um, he's been hit with five different accusations from five different women of inappropriate behavior. Now, what that is, I'm not sure. But usually for it to be like national headlines, it might be, it's got to be pretty bad. Yeah. Plus the whole accusations about covering up hundreds of thousands of nursing home deaths throughout COVID, yeah. that doesn't help. And so he no. came out in a press conference and not came out. He just, he came to a press conference and said that he was, he was gonna, he refuses to step down as governor of New York after multiple officials urged him to and lawmakers. And the exact quote that I wrote down was that just a nice short quote for you, but imagine him saying this in a press conference. There's no way I resign. I, yeah. I just wanted your quick thoughts on that. Cause I mean, Usually when you get in these bana- or pickles where you got accusations about sexual abuse coming in from one side and then the accusations about hiding deaths on the other side, it usually splits you and you, you got it. You have to resign. Yeah. I mean, I would not want to be him right now. Yeah. Uh, those, a lot of those guys are do a lot of shady stuff to get into the positions that they have and Sometimes it catches up with you. So. Yep, that's a great way to put it. And we'll keep it short. That was good. Um, so that was my donkey and daddy. We're going to do one every episode. I kind of like that, actually. That yeah. sparks some good conversations. Um, More to come with different types of content as the weather breaks and restrictions get lifted. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so things are opening, like Texas, no more masks. Hey, that's great. Content Id- okay, yeah, this is serious, though. If you have content ideas or something you would like us to see, or anything D3 uh, or D2 or NAIA or any anything like that sports-wise that you'd like us – oh, hell, even pro sports that you want us to talk about, or uh, hopefully my voice doesn't crack anymore. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say something. And contact us. Uh, on our Twitter, Instagram, or by email. Um, the email and Twitter and all that will be linked down below. So we'll, you guys will be able to say, and then uh, check out our website, especially uh, Brendan's been putting out a lot of blogs or some blogs, some blogs. Yeah. Well, I'll be getting, great I'll be getting more blogs it. now. I'm kidding. Uh, um, yeah. So I'm going to start blogging as well. Mine's going to be more general stuff, funny yep. stuff, uh, serious stuff, health stuff sports stuff, all, all that kind of jazz. Yep. Uh, anything that I feel about writing about, I kind of got a brain that likes to space out sometimes. Oh, yeah, I totally get that. 
Um, the other thing we got, we, we've been talking about it a little bit. It's been in the whispers. We do have to get more, um, more of a following probably before we do this. We are going to do some merch, um, hopefully. Um, I was actually thinking, Connor, uh, I would, we, would, we could buy like, just like the cheap cotton t-shirts and kind of make our own merch, t- like just D3 Dropouts t-shirts. And then we could go to like different sporting events at different colleges and kind of hand them out, at least so people like are getting the brand out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let us know if you want to see that. Yeah. And um, the only other thing I got is the viewer contest. We said we were going to do 500 subs by Easter and we would both get a buzz cut. We're going to lower that to 400 subs um, to make it more doable. And we will both get a fully one inch buzz cut around our whole head if that happens by Easter Sunday. So that's a, uh, that's something good. And, but wait, there's more. Look that hair. Yeah. Look at all this hair. Look at all this lush. Both of us got luscious locks that would, it would be, my hair is long. Yeah. Right? Your hair is very long. long. Um, but the other, the other thing is for more motivation for the next week, um, every subscriber we get, I will add it up. One, one subscriber equals 15 minutes and I will, live stream it on our Instagram and YouTube. I will run on the treadmill for however long it adds up to. So my example down there is probably a little stretched, but if we got 50 subs, I would be on the treadmill for 12 hours. (laughs) That's brutal. So we'll see. Um, But share Uh, this. Brennan's never even been on the treadmill for 50 hours. Yeah. I, yeah, total. I don't know if I've ever, I don't even know if I've been on the treadmill for five hours total. <laughs> so, um, 12 would be a stretch, but I'm going to live stream it. Well, that'll be good content. You got to share this with your friends and get this out to people though, so that we can, we can make this content and we can keep continuing to entertain people. Um, so that's all I got. Connor, you got to come up. We got to come up with a new saying for you. Yeah, I know. If there's no football, there's no me but there's no football and there's still me. Hey, I like that. that so I don't good. know guys, you tell me. Oh, yes. I like that. Um, so from D3 dropouts until next time, peace. Peace.